Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Who doesn't love starting with a panel and then adding your own borders? I have found the perfect border design for any panel quilt, regardless of the size. So enjoy the tutorial and learn how to create this for yourselves. To get started, click on the link in the blog post for the Northcott website. In particular, I'm at the Stars and Stripes 7 collection for Stonehenge. And I am going to select a number of fabrics from this collection and use it in my quilt. So let me first get started with the panel. And I'm going to right click on the panel. And I'm on Google Chrome, so I'll do a Save Image As. And then I'm going to navigate to my EQ8 Images folder. And then I will select a new folder and I'm going to rename that Stonehenge Quilt of Valor. And then I'm going to double click on the folder to select it and then I will select Save. Then I will find the next item that I want to include and so I'll do the 2016024. i I'll right click on that, do a Save Image As. It will navigate to my folder now and all I need to do is select Save. Now I repeated the process for additional fabrics that I wanted to use in the quilt. You can see um, by my annotation here which fabrics I selected. I usually do the fabric download that Northcott has available, but when I tried that, it didn't include um, all the fabrics in the collection. So I ended up going back to my other way that I download fabrics, which is which, what I shared here. On the home screen, I'm going to select New Project, and I'm going to label this uh, Stonehenge Quilt of Valor, and I will select OK. Then on the home screen, I'm going to select Import and Edit Fabric Images and select Import Image and I will navigate to My EQ8 Images Stonehenge Quilt of Valor and I will select each of the images. So I'm going to start with the first one and select Open. Now there is a ruler at the bottom of most of these images and the sizing is not correct. So I'm going to start by selecting Scale Fabric, type in the measured distance, which is 5 inches, and select Apply. Then select Crop and crop off the edge of the ruler. Make sure to select Apply Crop and then select Add as Fabric. Now you don't need to do any other saves other than that. So now I'll go to the next one, Import Image. And uh, let me go ahead and select that big panel and select Open. This one, if we set it as a photo, we don't need to actually do a resize on it. So for this one, I'm just going to do an Add to Project Sketchbook. This will save in the Photos section of the Project Sketchbook. Now I'm going to go back and import each of the other pieces of fabric and do the resize and crop exercise so I can add those fabrics to this particular project. Now we are ready to work on our quilt. So we can go to the home screen and select Design a Quilt from Scratch. We're going to do a new quilt horizontal. In the Layout tab, set the number of blocks to one by one. Now, it took a little bit of research, but I learned that the size of the panel is 23.5 by 43. So set the width at 23.5 and the height at 43. Then I'm going to share with you one of my favorite border designs for working with panels. So I'm going to make sure I've got the lock size adjustments set to all, and I'm going to um, double click on one of the numbers and type in 8 and then under the border style I'm going to select the style corner blocks. Then I'm going to select add 
for the next border. Uh, double click on one of the numbers and change the size to 4. And then I will add a final border and that will be a long horizontal. Double click on the number and change the size to 3. Now I liked this size because it ended up at 53 and a half by 73, which falls in the acceptable size range for a quilt of valor. Now go to the design tab and I'm going to start by selecting photo tools and set photo. And I can take that quilt of valor photo and click on that center block and it will resize to fit in that block. Now if I had set it as fabric I would have ended up with a tiled uh, piece because I did not resize that particular photo. Now I want to create a couple of blocks. So I'm going to go to my home screen and I'm going to select design a block from scratch. Select new block pieced easy draw and I'm going to change the width and the height to four inches. I'll change the snaps to four inches and um, I can turn the graph paper on if I do I would like that at four as well. Snapping option should be just snap to grid. With the line tool draw a line at three inches and that should be a horizontal line. Then you can go to the color tab and color this. My new fabrics are all at the end and I will select add to project sketchbook. Now I want to make a modification. So I'm going to go to the draw tab and draw a vertical line at one inch. Go to the color and I'm going to use the red for the two sides and select add to project sketchbook. Now I can view my quilt work table and I can go to the block tools and under set block I'm going to take the um, default uh, variable star and I'm going to click on the upper left corner and the lower right corner uh, for border number one and then I'm going to take the uh, block with the single bar at the bottom and I'm going to click on the four larger uh, spaces in border number one. Then select rotate and click on the blocks so that the red face is inside. Then with set block I'll take the second block that was designed and I'm going to set that in the upper right corner and the lower left corner and I'll use the rotate block for the lower left corner. Now the beauty of this design is I brought this in at 8 inches but I could have done it at 4, 6, uh, even 12 and I wouldn't have had to redo any of the blocks because everything is sized and proportioned for this. Now I'm going to select fabric tools and I'm going to recolor the um, rest of the quilt. And then I'm going to take that red fabric and color those two corners. For the next border I will use the striped fabric with a dark blue for the outside. For the striped border I will need to select rotate fabric and I'm going to rotate the fabrics so that the words face the inside section of the quilt. Then select fussy cut and I'm going to take each of those striped borders and make sure the same section of the border matches the inside edge. And so once I have everything placed I love to hide show quilt patch lines and add to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.